Hello all, welcome to episode 3 of my Wargame Dunkirk devlog. So last episode, we got a map together, we got we made two new guns, and we added characters, different characters for each team. So today, we're going to be adding some capture points. So when I first <clears throat> tried to make capture points, I tried to use this thing called Region 3, but apparently it was deprecated, so I had to use this new thing in the background here. So that was how to detect the players were on the point, and I also made this nice UI to detect, to show players what points were captured. Greetings. So I've just finished off capture points. So I'll just show you the final result. So I'm on the axis now. So we're going to be able to capture points here. So if I go up to <coughs> point A, it starts decreasing. And here you can see how many points are on each team as well. Point A. And also I'll point out, um, because this is like a, you can't capture the point off. So, so if I go back here, We'll capture it, then we'll move on to point B. Currently, there isn't a point C in the game after that, but also need to add like a beach and the Dunkirk town. So, as you see at the top, we can see A is being captured and B is being captured during. Uh, and also, I want to just show you real quick. I might want to change the colors around a bit because they are a bit confusing. I think a lot of people might be a bit confused by the points. So this isn't like a traditional capture point system where one team will capture it and then the other team can capture the point back. The way it works is that the allies are always going to be defending. So the Germans can capture the point after, which is next in line. But once the Germans have fully taken the point, the allies can't retake it. So they're going to have to fall back. Currently, the ally, uh, allies spawn the capture point which they own, which isn't really... It should probably be the one behind it, because it is a bit silly, so I'll probably fix that next episode. I currently haven't gone to it. Okay, so I've done some changes to the map. And also, spawn points. Well, it's going to be a long walk. So I've added these bombs here, this pretty nice fence, and these nice little power lines. The ropes are a bit annoying to add, and it's a bit time-consuming, but they've eaten nothing at the moment. There's an image you'll see here. I hope to add buildings like this from the Dunkirk movie. Um, they also look really nice, so I hope to add those at some point. And so currently, um, with the round system, I just want to update the... So currently we have... Oh, I can't see server script service, but the script for rounds is in there. And the GUI doesn't have anything. Well, now it does because I end it. But I just want to make stuff a bit less complicated by having the client change the GUI depending on values and replicated storage. It sounds weird. I'm putting it in two scripts, but it kind of makes it less complex in one. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to be working on classes. So here I've made this. I've made this really nice menu here. I'm just gonna make this work. So we're working on classes in the main menu. So the idea was that you have like SMG rifleman, light machine gunner. I never actually got it done, so it's something for the future. But it's kind of a something I can work on. So then I got a couple people from the uh, second episode and we played a game featuring the capture points so I did actually add a few things you'll see here so I added aiming I added a crosshair which someone mentioned in the comments of some other video although it, it's kind of glitchy so I'm going to need to fix it sometimes your mouse just doesn't appear it's a bit silly and then I also added this nice building which was... so obviously I hope to add more buildings and they actually make a really good fort uh, when I was playing 
um, we kind of won. We just camped the building, yeah. Also, the game's kind of scuffed because you spawn on the point that they're meant to capture. So they literally, if you try, if you keep dying, they just can't capture it. <laughs> so, yeah. And if you look at the top, you'll see I changed the GUIs a bit just so they scale better on like mobile devices or bigger screens. And also I added a timer and you can actually win or lose the game. So if the timer goes below, goes to zero, the allies win. And if the axis capture all the points, they win. There's currently no winning thing that um, all the points just reset and the timer resets. Currently, it doesn't respawn players, but it should, but that's a uh, later time. I thought I'd just say, this time is kind of weird. It's a bit broken when you have single digits, so that will need to be fixed. But I added some things, so I made this nice house here. Yeah. And you can also break glass, but you can. Um, I'll just see if there's any glass. Oh, this one. So... It's gone. There's no current animation, no sounds. That will be coming soon, but that's that. That's all. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe. Uh, goodbye.